Hello everyone, this is K9. Back with another tech tutorial for you today. And today we're going to be creating a hidden Veracrypt volume. So what is a Veracrypt hidden volume? A Veracrypt hidden volume, it looks like a normal volume like we've created in the past, but when you mount it, you can type in two passwords. One password will show normal files, and the other password will actually open up the hidden volume within the container. So I'll go ahead and give you a demonstration, and we'll, we'll get into that uh, as this video progresses. So, the requirements. What's going to be needed for this tutorial? A basic understanding of Veracrypt volumes. Now for this, you can go ahead and click the annotation on the screen, or you can go ahead and click the link in the description to watch my previous video on how to create a standard Veracrypt volume. So once you have your understanding of that, let's go ahead and open up Veracrypt. Okay, so what we want to do here is we want to click the Create Volume button. Now in the Volume Creation Wizard, we want to <coughs> click the Create an Encrypted File Container. Click Next. And now you want to hit Hidden Veracrypt Volume. And again, as you can see in the description, it is this is useful if you are ever forced to give up the password. You give up the password to the non-hidden Veracrypt Volume and then when you want the actual information that you're hiding and encrypting you put in the other password so you'll have two passwords to maintain for this Veracrypt volume so once you select that you can go ahead and click next now for our cases we're going to do normal mode because it's the easiest to explain and go over right now so we're going to hit normal mode okay now this should look similar if you followed my previous tutorial so you want to go ahead and hit select file and again, I'm just going to put it on the desktop like I did last time. And I'm going to say secret file. Okay, once you have your file saved, you can go ahead and click next. Okay, then click next again. Now this is for the outer volume. So the outer volume is the stuff you would want somebody to see if you were forced to give up the password to this. So again, I'm going to leave the default AES encryption and go ahead and click Next. And again, in this case, I'm going to set it to 10. That way I can leave plenty of space for the hidden material. I'm going to click Next. And we're going to go ahead and put in a password. Okay, so once you have your password entered, go ahead and click Next. Okay, now here we're going to be generating a random pool as we've done in the past. So make sure you move your mouse around a lot to keep generating uh, a better random pool. And once you feel satisfied, you can go ahead and click the Format button. Now remember, this will take some time. Okay, now you can see that it is complete. Okay, so now you're going to see this other wizard um, about the outer volume contents. You can read all this for yourself, but I'm just going to give you a little synopsis here. That basically what it's telling you to do is insert some uh, sensitive looking files, uh, that you don't actually want to hide. And again, this is what someone would see if they opened, uh, if you were forced to give up your password, right? This is the thing you want them to see. Um, and now, it's already been mounted for you and everything, so you can go ahead and click Open Outer Volume. Now in here is where you want to put these sensitive looking files. Um, remember, these are not actually the files you want to hide. Now, what's important here is that you put as many as you want in here, but do not click next on the creation wizard because once you create, uh, click next, what it's going to do is it's auto, it's going to auto determine how big the inner volume can be and allow you to create the inner volume, which is the hidden volume. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to put some arbitrary files in here. So once we have some arbitrary files, what we can do is go back into our creation wizard here. I'm going to minimize this. Okay, so we can go back into our uh, creation wizard and click next. Now again, this could take a little bit of time for it to calculate how much space it can uh, allocate to this hidden volume. Now once you get to the hidden volume page, this is going to look similar, but um, what we're going to do is click next. I'm going to leave the AAS default encryption and click next again. And now here is where you want to input the max size of your volume. This is for your hidden volume now. 
um, the maximum possible size for my volume in this case because again those files that I put in there were very small is 9.63 megs so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say 8 that way I can still shove in some extra files into the outer volume the non hidden outer volume if I so choose I'm going to go ahead and click next and again this dialog explains exactly what I just said I'm going to click yes to continue and again, we're going to put in a new, another password, not the same password. Use a different password, maybe that's more difficult, whatever you want to use here. Okay, so once you have your password entered, go ahead and click Next. And again, we're at the random pool. So go ahead and keep moving your mouse around like crazy to generate a random pool. And once you're satisfied with that random pool, you can go ahead and click Format. Okay, and again, this will take some time as it did before. And what this is doing is, is now creating that inner hidden volume. And once this completes, we'll be going over how to actually mount both of these and how they will work in your system. Okay, you'll get this nice security prompt once it has been uh, created and you will be ready to go. So go ahead and click OK. And now you can go ahead and click Exit. So how do we go about using this? So what you're going to do is you're going to open up Veracrypt. Okay. And now just as in our pre in my previous tutorial, what you're going to do is you want to go ahead and select your volume that you made. So in my case, I put it on the desktop and I named it secret file. Right? It's 10 megabytes. Okay. And you want to click mount. Now again, this is where you have the choice of entering the two different passwords. So I'm going to go ahead and enter the first password we made, which was for the outer volume. Now I'm going to go ahead and press OK. And it's going to take its time, it's going to mount it. OK, you can see that it was mounted. So now if we open up Windows Explorer, you'll see local F disk. OK, and you can see that, well, there are my two photos. All right, my embarrassing photos and my financials, so, ah, whatever, someone's got them, whatever. Not that big of a deal, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and dismount this. All right, now I'm going to explain how to get to the hidden section. So what you want to do is you want to select your secret file again, and then you want to click Mount. Now in this dialog, this time we want to enter the password for the inner volume that we created. Okay, so once you've entered your password, you can go ahead and click OK. Again, this will take a little bit of time for it to mount in your system. Okay, you can see that it's been mounted. Now if we open up Windows Explorer, you can see local disk F. And there's nothing in it. Now this is our hidden TrueCrypt volume. Okay, so now just to uh, prove a point, I'm just going to put some, again, arbitrary files in here. But let's pretend that these were sensitive files. So I'm even going to say this is sensitive information. Right? Alright, so it's saved here. Now if we go ahead and dismount this drive, and I go ahead and mount it again, but I type in my outer volume, so again, the non-hidden volume password. I paste it in here and press OK. It's going to mount it uh, just like it's done before. And if I open up Windows Explorer, you can see that it does not contain that file I just made of sensitive information, just these two files. OK, so make sure when you're done, of course, that you dismount. And remember, if you're ever forced to give up this the password to your hidden, uh, your encrypted VeroCrypt volume, make sure you give out the outer password and not the inner one. Okay, so that just about wraps up this video, guys. I really hope you did enjoy, and I hope it really helped some of you out there. Please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, and a thumbs down if you disliked it. I put out a new video every Saturday, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of my content. And next week, I will be putting out two videos. One video about how to sync your bookmarks across browsers as well as devices. And another video detailing how to recover deleted data. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of that content. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.